நம்ம சேனல் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதவங்க மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிடுங்க அதோட கூடவே பெல் ஐக்கனையும் பிரஸ் பண்ணிடுங்க Get ready, English Senior 1971, October, start. Mr. Vice Chairman, I would like to divide this problem into two broad aspects. One is a law and order problem. Once we abridge the constitution and alter the fundamental rights, then it is almost an invitation to people take up the challenge. I may tell this house through you that if one feels very strongly and very sincerely about anything, he is expected to take or be cognizant of the consequences. therefore let us not look at this problem merely as a law and order problem but as a problem as my friend mr bhupesh gupta has put it which ought to be solved in the political sphere to get a political solution for that may i with your permission put to myself one question what do i gain by standing alone in this house expressing an unpalatable thing knowing fully well that if i were to give up that unpalatable thing you would take every one of you would take me into your hearts what do i get by standing aloof and alone you should understand the psychology behind that stand please do not think that i am pressing for it for the mere novelty of it there is frustration a very intense and very growing one among a section of people of my part who definitely feel that the present political setup the federation is not going to deliver them the goods and that is why after having had the experience in this federation not only the members of my party but members outside my party to feel that unless something radical is thought of unless some new kind of political setup is created this federation is not going to stand the strain and stress of the times of course the minister was kind enough to state that even without this amendment the constitution is very clear that the talk about separation is repugnant to the constitution i may point out that juries are divided on that point and i quote the opinion of one jurist of this august house i am quoting mr sapru he has written a very persuasive a very lucid article not for separation but against separation in one of our english dailies where in he has said about the preamble to our constitution and has said that it is a sovereign republic since our constitution is not rigid since amendments are allowed since our constitution is purposely made to be flexible even an amendment to the preamble can be brought forward therefore it does not matter much whether as the minister has stated the talk about separation is repugnant to the constitution or as the jurist has pointed out it is open to question apart from the constitution it is a matter of conscience you should think every one of you in this house should think as to why a particular section in this country feel in a way di- diametrically opposite to what everybody else feels we could not have been peculiarly brought up in a different way we could not have been unaware of the good influence that was being inculcated in this country for the past 40 or 50 years we heard mahatma gandhi talk about the great bharat we have heard with thrill as most of you have heard about the oneness of this country and yet why is it that some of us feel that the present political setup of such a federation makes the state become almost like a colony why is it that we should feel in that 
way. Dear sir, some time back the Indian Airlines Corporation conducted successful proving flights to Cochin and other airports in the south. The public were and are still hoping that Indian Airlines Corporation would be introducing their Boeing service to Bombay and Madras from Cochin. The existing flight is inadequate. The Boeing aircraft is specifically designed to operate from runways with a length of 5000 feet. I also gather that Indian Airlines Corporation is contemplating introduction of a Boeing service from Bombay to Trivandrum instead of Cochin. The reasons being that there are port trust cranes around the airport in Cochin projecting to a height of 200 feet and that the runway is not able to take the full weight of the Boeing aircraft. There is very great demand for seats to Cochin from Madras and other southern stations. It would be advisable for Indian Airlines Corporation to introduce direct non-stop Boeing services between Madras and Cochin. This service will easy a lot of pressure on the other flights going to Cochin through various points in the southern region. Further, since the obstacles of introducing Boeing service to Cochin and Coimbatore can be overcome by implementing the suggestion given above, this can be a forerunner for Indian Airlines Corporation to start a Boeing service to Cochin both by the clockwise and anti-clockwise route. I would very much like you to kindly consider my above suggestion. With kind regards, yours sincerely.